Welcome back my pupils. This is Gene coming to you with Reloading from the Hot Pot. Today we got a really special edition gray box in. We got us one of those hard to find special edition new Sig Sauer pistols. But first and foremost, I want to thank Mr. Charles at Black Wing Shooting Center for hooking me up with this. I heard this was coming out. I went and talked to Mr. Charles. He said, I got you. Well, they got one in. He called me and I went and picked it up yesterday. So let's turn this box around and let's see what you get inside this Sig Sauer box. I really like these Sig Sauer boxes. I got a few of them now. <laughs> can't help myself, can't help myself. First and foremost, we see the manual for it. We got a sticker, some other certified Custom Works cards, Spec 1 products, Manual itself, standard standard issue, Sig Sauer manual. It's got a QR code there. If you want to download it, you can. Uh, talks about handling, basic rules, you know, all the razzmatazz, all the razzmatazz. Warning there, lock. Here we got a magazine that's still in the plastic. We got a Sig coin. These are really cool. These are custom work coins. I really dig these. Nice and heavy weight. It's just a nice collectible item that they give. You know, when, when you spend this much on something, well, you get that. And then we got the pistol. This is exactly how it came. I took it out for the pictures and then put it back. Wrapped up in the blue plastic. There we go. Let's go ahead and get everything off the bench here and go over the specs on this Sig Sauer P320 Spectra Comp. All right, we got everything off the bench. We got the chamber flag out of it. <clears throat> We're gonna show clear, you know, never been shot before, brand new, empty magazine, magwell, good to go. So, Let's talk a little bit about this. Let's go over some specifications right from Sig Sauer. Right from Sig Sauer's website, the specifications on this Sig P320 Spectra Comp are, it is chambered in nine millimeter Luger. It does come with two 21 round magazines, X-ray three day and night sights, which are excellent, excellent, excellent sights. I love Sig's X-ray sights. It comes with a threaded barrel, full size X-series grip, Overall length is 8.5 inches. Overall width is 1.6 inches. Height 5.8. Barrel 4.6 inches. Claimed weight is 41.8 ounces. And we're going to try that out. Sight radius is 6.5 inches. It does come with a 1913 um, accessory rail to it. So you can hang your lights, lasers, bags of chips if you're hungry at the range. Whatever you like to do with that. Striker fired. The, the trigger type is an X-Series Flat 10 Gold. Uh, the grip module is the standard TXG Tungsten Infused full-size grip module that is laser engraved for the uh, texturing on it. Absolutely fabulous. Uh, what else about this? Uh, let's see. Oh, the barrel is uh, stainless with gold tin coating and a stainless slide. Now, the special thing about this is the compensator. The compensator. Sig Sauer is claiming that this reduces 30% muzzle flip. 30%. Well, we're going to look at this more in depth. We're going to get this off my Middleton made stand here, custom made for reloading from the hot pot. First off, <clears throat> this is the first thing I noticed. Do you see it? Come on, tell me you see it. <laughs> that just. That made me smile. When I seen this, when I finally got this at, at, the, at my LGS at Blackwing, man, that just that just cracked me up. <laughs> Somebody at Sig Sauer has got a good sense of humor. Now, watching the first videos on this, this, this firearm really intrigued me. The one right from Sig Sauer and then the Humble Marksman. And that's, that's pretty much all I've really seen on it so far. I mean, there might be some more videos out there on it, but I have not seen them. And this gun, to me, when I first seen the pictures of it, it was just attractive. 
I like the gold, I like the gray, and I like the black. So those combinations really did it for me. Well, you know, this too. Now, as far as the compensator itself, this compensator. Normally, you know, I've had compensators before on pistols and on rifles. Normally, you see some side ejection ports, not just top ports, but this one is just a top port. They said it was angled more forward. Um, I do not see that. I see that being straight on. If you can see that, that's going pretty much straight on, right to the barrel. So I don't, you know, I mean, a little angle here, but other than that, it, the gases are still shooting straight up. So I'm not too sure about the 30%. Uh, we will give it a shot, that's for sure, literally, um, a bunch of shots to see how this compensator works. If six hours claiming 30%, um, I'm gonna take them at their word and um, try it for myself and see if I come with the same conclusions. For all intents and purposes, this is the X5 Legion frame, tungsten infused frame. Nice undercut under the trigger guard, standard mag release, standard trigger guard, Picatinny rail, but really what I noticed it when I first picked it up, now I've got a, a Max Michelle um, as well, and the first thing I noticed was how much better this felt in the hands. That laser, that laser stippling on there, I mean it just feels, it feels like it plants in your hands with those. Where the Max Michelle and the X5 Legions just feel too slick. You're going to have to silicone carbide, put grip tape, do something with it um, if you're shooting a lot with it. But this here, this actually feels fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. The trigger, fantastic. Slide cuts and serrations, really nice job on them. Something a little different. They're nice and bitey. You, you can rack from the front, rack from the back, not a problem. You do gotta watch getting your fingers pinched right here though. If you're racking up here, make sure you watch where you're putting your fingers. Uh, I already pinched my finger on the inside there and I don't wanna see you do the same thing. But we're gonna take some weights of this. We're gonna take a trigger pull test of this. This trigger actually feels similar to what I've got in my Michelle and my AXG Pro, which are Armory Craft adjustable triggers. And the way I've got them set up for me, you know, it, they're, they're adjustable. So, but the way they're set for me, I really, um, it's really comparable to this SIG Custom Works trigger. Now, I was looking around at Gunbroker with these, and I was noticing that these are going on Gunbroker for $25, $2,600. I paid... MSRP, not a penny more, not a penny less, because I've got a good LGS, man. Blackwing Shooting Center and Mr. Charles just take such good care of me. They don't gouge people coming in the door. You know, that's they're a fair business. You know, you, you will pay, you will pay, you know, MSRP on it, but they're fair about it. And if they've got used firearms, they're really fair about their used firearms. Uh, Mrs. Hotshot got an excellent Taurus G3 from them. Excellent, excellent. Really, really good price. So let's take some trigger pull tests on this and some weight tests and see if it matches up. Now, Six Hour is claiming a, a weight of 41.8 ounces on their website. We're going to put this on the scales here. It weighs two pounds, 5.2 ounces. Let me shadow that there. My light gets a little glare. Two pounds, 5.2 ounces, which is 37.2 ounces total. So two pounds, 5.2, equivalates into 37.2. Now we're gonna put a magazine in it, empty magazine. Put that back on the scale. We have two pounds, 8.9 ounces, which comes out to 40.9 ounces. So it actually weighs about one ounce less in reality to the website. So, you know, sometimes you'll have that. Let's do a trigger pull next. There, we got our trusty Wheeler trigger pull gauge out, and we're gonna see what kind of a pull we get with this SIG Custom Works Spectra Comp. Pulling just that four and a half pounds. 
Let's do one more time. That's a good pull weight. I like a four and a half pound trigger, four or four and a half. I'm okay with that. Again, four and a half pounds. Let's do that one more time. Just to have, you know, we got two at 4.5. Let's see if we can get three at 4.5. Right in the middle of that blade. That one popped up to just about five. All right. So, all right. One more time. They're our pupils. One more time. One more time. There we got just under five. So we're going to say four and a half, four and, four and three quarter pound trigger on an average pull. That's not too bad. Not too bad. So let's get it up here and actually take a look at it. I really like this trigger. The way this trigger feels over my Max Michelle uh, when it was stock um, and my other X Carry Legion and everyone I've had so far, which I, you know, I've gotten rid of a couple of them, but um, here we go with this one. So the trigger's got, oh, let, me rock, let me rock it up first. Trigger's got a really short wall right there, a little bit of creep, and a break. And the reset, a little bit out, right there. Back to your reset, a little bit of creep, break. This has to be one of the best triggers out of SIG that I have gotten out of the box. And I have taken the time to purchase some of the top runners. Uh, the only one I haven't had is just the, the actual just X5 Legion. And with the other models I've got, including this one, I just didn't need to feel to buy that one because that one just seems to be the baseline model for the, for the um, Legion line of these TXG modules. So that's it, I guess, on this video. Uh, we will be doing some uh, other shooting on this. Everybody knows all the ergonomics of a Sig Sauer. Great ergonomics. Ma you know, nice mag well. This trigger is really, really nice. But I'm going to be doing some upgrades to this. And I'm going to do a couple to it. And then bring you back and explain each one. Uh, we will not be doing install videos as per YouTube's requirements. But I do want to share with you what I do to this. Um here in just a few actually because i've got some good parts to go on it <laughs> well thank you very much for watching this there will be another update video as well as a range video i'm not going to take it to the range until i actually do all my accessories to it my more accessorize it we're going to turn this maserati into a supercar <laughs> but i really do like it i love the look of it that is just too funny. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, I like the way it feels. I really like this laser this laser stippling on here. That laser etching is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Way big upgrade. They need to do this to all other SIGs. Let me tell you what. Not just a special edition one or a you know compensated model. I like the way that looks. I'm going to talk about it just a minute more. I like the way that looks, the way they've got that lined up to go right inside the frame. That threaded barrel there. I mean, they really put a little bit of work into this. I still am just curious about some side ports. Um, may, uh, may experiment a little bit with those. You know, you never know. But, my pupils, thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate y'all. <laughs> Have a great day, and always remember to keep blowing the smoke.